tell him about the time we faced him. All right. Well, as I remember. At Avenger Headquarters. Welcome to the Marvel DNT Evolution Podcast with myself, Andy Stead. And I'm Jarian Gibson. And I'm Alex Straub. I'm not going to tell you why Jarian was laughing. <laughs> 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 Made a mistake once. <laughs> um, actually, no, that's that's not a, that's that's a lie. Actually, I've made plenty of mistakes in the past and just never heard them. Um, mm-hmm. So, welcome to this uh, special episode. Uh, to all of our listeners and viewers um we are gonna do a, a, a little a little nod to everybody for um following us and watching us and listening to us over this last well nine months or so since we started this project um we've uh, we've it, things have changed since since we began doing this podcast things will inevitably change as we go forward um, and hopefully we'll be just doing things that the guys, you guys listening will enjoy um, going forward. So I think something to, you know, to, to mention bef- uh, as we get started is obviously I remember back in it was probably April or May time, Jarian, I reckon, um, when, you know, uh, us two and, and Jason Cutter were talking about doing this podcast off the back of our Facebook group. And uh, we said, oh, you know, we could talk for hours about comics and Marvel and MCU and nerd stuff. And I think we've proved that we can talk for hours <laughs> about that sort of stuff. And, uh, yeah, you know, we, we, we sort of dove into it right in the middle of, um, or right as Loki was starting, wasn't it? Yep. yep. And Loki kicked off and uh, we had we had a, a, a good listener base back then. One of those people being Alex, um, who was listening <laughs> to the podcast. And uh, and at the time we was all sort of very active on our Facebook group, weren't we? And then um, and as, as as Loki went on, we sort of started branching out and talking about a few different bits and pieces to do with Marvel. And uh, one thing led to another. Jason stepped aside, and and we sort of said, Alex, come on, in you come, and uh, and you, you, you've just not left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm part of the furniture now, as part you once said, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Part of the part of the uh, Marvel DNT Evolution podcast furniture, so uh, yeah, you know the, the the sort of history of the of the of the show as um, is, is, is I think it's important. I think it's important to see where you've come from. It's important to see uh, to, to to recognize those people. I mean, you know, the intro music that you guys have just heard, Jason done the intro music for us, and uh, and I really love it. I think yes. it's great. I really do. I think it's I think it it epitomizes our show, and I loved it. Um, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of it so uh, thank you to jason for doing that and uh hopefully he's uh, he's still listening somewhere out there in the marvel world um and also but- too hopefully we can get jason to come back on as a guest come sometime the door is always open jason for you whenever you're ready to come back on and, and join us that's a always great welcome. idea that's a great idea i love that idea um and talking about guests um we've had some we've had some great guests and i think i think a guest that, would, that needs a special mention He's somebody that we mention quite often. He's uh, he's Monty Harry, mm-hmm. um, our sort of special returning sort of guest host, I would say, rather yes. than just a guest. Mm-hmm. Um, Monty's come on two or three times, and uh, super knowledgeable guy with, within comics. Um, and it's great to listen to just just I mean it just oozes out of him comics knowledge. And I know Alex, you love his questions. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking about like how the first time that we did his questions and and I was here, like I was like, man, like I love these questions. Second time I was like, man, he is killing me with these questions. Like they they were some tough questions. They really were. It's, it's we're playing stuff the chump. Yeah. <laughs> it's lucky he don't do the quizzes. Yeah, yeah. Um so but yeah, it's been it, it's great having um a resource like uh, like Monty to to bring onto the show. And say, uh, come and share your share your knowledge with us, and and then and and I've really loved some of his opinions. Um, I think he's he totally swayed me with the Black Panther recasting thing, and the reasons as to why. Absolutely loved that. I mean, I, I, although I did disagree with him the other day, I can't remember exactly what it was. It was something on the group, and I said, "This is the first time I've disagreed with you." Um, <laughs> oh, that's right. He, um, 
uh, I don't want to say too much because it is a, it, it's not necessarily a spoiler, but he didn't like something to do with No Way Home. And I did like that particular thing. And I was like, no, actually, I really liked it. So it's the first time for everything. But um, but yeah, it's been great having Monty on and uh, we'll, we'll, he will definitely be coming back again. Yes. Um, but to, so, so other guests, you know, we've had um, people from the group. So we, we, Mark Relliford joined us um, once to talk about uh, zombies. Yeah. Um, in the what if episode and uh, Mark's a great guy. He's really passionate and really uh, just a, a really nice guy to talk to and has got some really good opinions. Um, that's always fun having people on from the group. Um, and, and then as we, as we sort of look at our guests that we've had from, from, oh, and of course we've had Barbara on from the group yep. as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's nice to have a female voice. <laughs> in the show just yes. us guys just us guys too much testosterone floating about um, <laughs> Miss Thanos yeah, herself <laughs> yeah, yeah Miss Thanos uh, Miss Thanos and if there's uh, if there's any other uh, ladies out there who, who would like to come onto the show and have got have got some sort of uh, passion in within the Marvel world doesn't have to be MCU it could be comics it could be collections it could be or a particular character or a cartoon or anything like that you know we'd love to hear from you and that goes for everybody, really. If anybody wants to guest on the show, you know, just give us a shout. And uh, if, if if we can accommodate you, then we certainly will. Moving on from people away from the, the the sort of group, the Facebook group, we've had some some really interesting guests on. Uh, you know, we've had Tom Duke from Stepping Through Film. Yep. The 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 photog the, the photographs. Um, you know, the location photographs. Um, if you've not seen Tom Duke's work, check out his Facebook page or his Instagram page, Stepping Through Film. Um, uh, Alex, you was, you was blown away by them, weren't you, those photos? Yeah, it, it was so, like, mind-boggling to me because, like, I want to call them art, but, you know, like, it's, it's like art is kind of what it reminds me of because it's, like, it's literally, like, taking, like, the movie world and the real world and blending them together and... and it's it's very it's very cool seeing that like and seeing like real things in real life and how they get moved to screen i guess you know yeah he's, he's a great follow just to, to see that that tie between real life and and, and the and the silver screen so he's doing some great photos out there i always enjoy seeing him pop up on instagram or on facebook to see what he has today for what he's seen out there from film to, to real life so and his adventures and, all over yep. the world yeah, I mean, and there's a lot of planning that goes into that too. So, you a know. huge amount of planning. I mean, and, and accuracy as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I asked him when he come onto the show, like, you know, how much editing do you do? And he said none. And I was like, wow. Off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, pull a pull it a fast one there, mate. You're definitely editing, but he, he he doesn't. You know, he really doesn't. He lines, he holds the picture, and he takes a picture. That's incredible. Uh, so that was really interesting to have to have Tom on. Uh, we've had uh, we've had um, Martin Flanagan, our sort of university professor, um, actually one of our most sort of listened to episodes. That one, and a lot of people expressed a wish to see or hear Martin again. So he will be joining us in January, actually, again. So that was really interesting to and uh, Martin co-authored a, a book about Marvel Studios yes. and some really sort of deep um, insight into the marvel studios phenomenon which yep. is what the book was called uh so that was really interesting to hear he's a, a film studies lecturer at university so it was interesting to hear his take on how the mcu works with uh within the film space so really interesting guy who will be joining us again shortly we've had steve honeycutt um escape to earth his comic um, and a profess and 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 a self-professed, um, not massive lover of what Disney, Disney have done <laughs> with Marvel, but um, it was really interesting. I really liked his his statement that he made, um, and it, it's obvious, but you know maybe not everybody knows. Comics aren't just superheroes. You know, there's there's lots of different things out there, and um, I think he was trying to. That's something that he's trying to highlight with his own comic, his his uh, Escape to Earth comic. Um, that was that was really interesting to see him on and see that process, wasn't it? Yeah, and you know, it's it's funny you say that because, like, you know, people do forget that there are things like The Simpsons were once a comic. Yeah. You know, like, and I, 
it's funny enough that that I've actually brought that up because that was one of the first comics that I ever read were Simpsons comics as a kid, you know, um, and and so like you know th there's been all kinds of other things, you know, Transformers was a comic, you know, like so it's not just people in tights or people in costumes <laughs> and stuff, you know, like it's Voltron was a comic too, even Archie, you know, yeah. like yeah, and, so. and 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 you know shows that we that we know movies mm -hmm. that we know that we've seen that we wouldn't have expected to be comics before you know why the last man watchman um v for, v for vendetta walking the, dead walking yeah. dead yeah the boys no, I, I didn't know riverdale <laughs> was based off of isn't it archie i think i think it is is it yeah i think i i think it is that's what i've been told but like if it is like wow you know didn't know that because Excellent. i yeah and and, st and like, you know, Steve was very passionate about that. He's very passionate about his comics, full mm -hmm. stop. Really, yep. Um, he had a good post in the group too, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, all the, all of these people that weren't part of our group, our Facebook group before they guested on the show, are now part of the Facebook group and adding valuable content. And and, and also just a, one last shout out to one last guest who's who's been with us three times now. Um, who's been on very recently was uh, was Luke from Hydra Collectibles, um, bringing his his views on Spider Man to us. Uh, and it was great to have. Actually, I really liked the sort of. Uh, the one episode followed by the next episode to have love luke on and it was really great to have that kind of extra opinion on no way home from luke so if you haven't listened to that episode we're not going to give you any spoilers today on this one but if you haven't listened to that no way home review episode and you have seen spider-man no way home go back have a listen to that listen to luke's input on that he's a huge spider-man fan he's got a one of the biggest amazing spider-man collections I should imagine in the world he's nearly he's nearly full he's only missing two apparently so if anybody knows where he can get hold of them <laughs> let him know i'm sure he'd be appreciative but get over into his youtube channel as well um, hydra collectibles where he talks about comic collections and uh, sometimes talks about other collections as well you know figurines and things like this um also a massive lost fan which uh, we found out last week so uh, you know luke's a great guy and it's been brilliant to have him have him on on a more regular basis so yeah you know the guests that we've had on the show have been have been brilliant but i i'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you two um just because you know jarian I, I know your your sort of your quote unquote work <laughs> <laughs> as in as in researching news and rumors um has been a, a big part of, of of this show for the last nine months or so and and i also appreciate and i know we've got slightly different views on spoilers you don't mind them and i hate them but as you quite rightly said the other week you can't do what you would do as in looking at all of these news and all of these rumors without getting spoiled somewhere along the line whether these things turn out to be true or not it's still you're still searching those spaces so from 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 you know from that it's uh very honourable. <laughs> You're taking one, taking one for the team, Jerry. Well done. And uh, and Alex, uh, you know, I think you know you come into the show once we we was a few episodes in, but um, uh, it took you about five minutes before you was you know you was like we said part of the furniture, and just mm -hmm. uh, and and I love I love how I talk a lot. <laughs> Jerry talks a lot. You don't talk as much, but when you do talk, you always come up with something yes. really valuable because you listen. And um, I tell you something, it was Nelson Mandela. This is, this is, I don't know whether this is true. It's one of those internet quotes, but he always said, always be the last person to speak <laughs> because, because you can listen to everybody that's around you and then you can put in an opinion. So I always value your opinion because you always listen to us two flap on and then you go, now I'm going to formulate an opinion that you'll both really like because I've listened to what you've both said. <laughs> It's, so um, it's, it's, it's so funny because with marvel you know it's it's like sometimes it's a lot to take in so you just got to sit here and you just have to absorb as much as you can you know no you're not wrong mate you're not wrong but uh yeah it, you know it's been it's been a pleasure doing this and um, especially as well i think maybe not so much now where the world is changing slightly but, you know we're going back to sort of remnants of normal but um it, especially back when we started this podcast and we was we was just sort of coming into lockdowns and coming out of lockdowns and things like this it was nice to be able to speak about these things with other like-minded people whether we had any listeners or not <laughs> yeah yeah. I, I, yeah it's been fun yeah i enjoy it yeah this is makes it fun i know 
uh, having starting off with Jason and then transitioning to Alex, and you guys make it fun. I'm always glad to chat. Um, I know we all work around uh, each other's schedules sometimes, um, but it, it, it's been fun, and I don't mind being spoiled because it helps me look for other things in the movies um, instead of just, you know, I know from the news. So it just comes with the territory. Um, I got a visitor in here, so sorry about that little uh, <laughs> ruckus in the background. Just leave it. Just, just, just leave it. Just leave it. Um, and, but, yeah, thank you, Alex, for also stepping in. And, Andy, it's always a pleasure. It, it's been a pleasure since day one on here with yeah. you so far. So. And, and, and that's a really good point. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, this isn't some odd American accent. I'm I'm over here in, in England, just outside of London, and we've got two Americans on the other side, so we have to tie up. Do you remember the days when we was going, wait, so is it 4.30 your time? Is it 3.30 my time? It's 9.30 my time. What time is it? And I'm like, what time is it over there? And you're like, what is this time? And then it's that time. And then my daylight savings Saving, and that changed yes. everything. Oh, my God. What a nightmare. We both, we'd both all be on at different times waiting to come on. So, um, yeah, that was, always, that was always a problem. But, uh, you know obviously we've had great guests you know we've we've reviewed or previewed should i say previewed and reviewed four mcu uh, movies this year uh, black widow shang chi eternals no way home they've they've been fun to do as well uh, and seeing them um, seeing those big moments you know the shows are great you know they but they drip feed you don't they they drip feed you over the course of six weeks nine weeks 12 weeks 10 weeks whatever they are uh, but these shows they're like bam there's a there's a load of information all at once a big moment um hence why we've done those very those sort of special episodes where we sit there and that's all we talk about uh, i think that's uh, that's worthwhile and something that we'll certainly be carrying on doing into next year with the the three big releases uh, uh, from from the mcu but also try and do them for we said we was going to try and get luke back on maybe to talk about morbius as well so any other sort of properties like that you know we'll we'll take the time to to preview and review those is morbius the only sony one next year yeah i don't think craven's next year is no it? 2023 there's they have three properties in 2023 but i didn't i couldn't remember if there was only one next year i guess it is morbius the only one so mm. um and aside from aside from movies and things that have come out we've had some really good subjects that i think we spoke about a couple of standout things for me something that we that, that i think we've coined it it was the sympathetic villain <laughs> um i really like that i really like that i'd really like to see more of that sympathetic villain that villain that that we all sort of sympathize with and we're like no actually i want you to win you know until a point <laughs> until a point till i come up against one of our heroes and then we're like, actually, no, no, I, no i don't anymore but um but i think that's a really interesting subject that i think the uh, uh, we've started to see not just within the mcu but with venom uh, we're going to see it with morbius we're going to see it with craven you know we're seeing these these quote unquote villains turning up who are the centerpieces of the movies we've seen it with loki yeah loki fundamentally is a villain yeah he had his own show and um, we saw in WandaVision, Wanda, Wanda was kind of the hero and the villain of her own show. So we've we've seen John Walker, who was supposed to be Captain America, who's supposed to be this stand-up guy, and he's actually kind of a villain. Yep. So we've we've seen that. The, the, well, look, the, also look at um, uh, Agent Carter. Yeah. You know, as yeah, well. She yeah, kind yeah, of started yeah, off on yeah. the right path, went down the wrong path, so what happened to her, and... Yeah. So she's also kind of in that that role as well now. And it's a grey area, isn't it? And I, mm -hmm. obviously the movies are exploring the villain a little bit more. They're no longer just a two-dimensional. He's bad because he's evil. And she's, you know, she's horrible and wants world domination. It's like, actually, there's more to it than that. And I really like that. I really like that. Uh, we've had some good sorry Alex go on I, I was just gonna say I think I think a lot of the problem with that too is, is in a lot of things villains are almost like plot devices you know like they're just used as like a means to put like almost like a beginning and an end to the story like they're the reason why it's it's going through but like it, I don't know like I, I feel like we've talked about like Marvel's trying to 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 really like change how they do their villains and, and stuff like that and they're not making it a a beginning and end point with the shows and the movies anymore like things events do occur before and after and we know that and even ridiculously powered villains like thanos people relate to i mean yeah. we just yeah. saw that in 
Hawkeye with Clint, you know? So, <laughs> where, where, yeah, where that's he's, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah. well, look, look at Zemo also. Look at the, the whole popularity of Zemo. They even re- released a Zemo cut and they had the whole, the whole club dancing thing. So, Zemo yeah. won as well. And then, uh, I'm trying to think who, who else uh, on the villain side that's been really kind of besides Loki and mm-hmm. Thanos. Um, and this look at Bucky's even art in the MCU yeah. as well. So, yeah, he's gone. He, 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 he's he's transitioned all over the place, hasn't he? Yeah. So, you know, I think I think that's been one of my standout subjects that I think we've taken from this. We've had great chats about the X Men and casting people and when they're going to come in, and we had a, a, a great chat about World War Hulk as well, um, talking about that storyline and and what a huge comic run that was and how effective that was in the comics. We'd like to see that in the MCU. So we've had we've had some really good chats. And a lot of these chats that we've had, a lot of these theories, a lot of these conversations that we've had, have all been inspired by things that have happened in the group, yep. in our Facebook group. Um, and we cannot forget that that is the real reason why we're here. That was the that was the, the driving force behind doing this podcast in the first place. And obviously the group wouldn't be the same without some of the, the sort of uh, some of the members that we've got there without all of the members but there's certainly some prominent members that um that, that i'd like to just sort of give a little mention to now just to sort of say thank you for inspiring us really and giving us the ideas and us the theories to to talk about you know it's it's marvel D T, it's marvel discussions and theories and without you guys we wouldn't get this um the, these 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 theories and these discussions uh, is, uh, have we lost Alex there? Has he, yeah, we him? have. I'll call him back when, once he comes back in. Fantastic. Like we lost Alex. <laughs> well, we'll carry we'll carry on talking, and then he'll 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 figure out that he's gone. But um, uh, it, you know, we've had people like Tim and Adam and uh, Mike Sullivan and Antonio, who have been fantastic in bringing their their theories and their ideas to to the group. Um. We've had we've had people like Fred Fred Carmichael with his agree or disagree posts. Yes, those are great. Always, they, they are superb. They are like a feature that we, the admins and moderators, don't have to do anything to to get. Uh, so thank you, Fred, if you're listening. Thank you for those. Uh, we've got we've got young Raymark, who, uh, uh, our, our our young lad, who always tries to put out really decent content. So thank you, Raymark. We've got people like Raymond Franklin, we've got Ruben, Roxy, Clayton, Maeve, Brendan, Bridget, Justin. We've got so many do- good people that, uh, that, that that make our group what it is. And um, so I'd just like to thank you. Yeah, we've got Alex back. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I, it just kind of froze up and then kicked me out. So well, basically, basically, I just said some really nice things about you, which I'm not going to repeat. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the vault. <laughs> it's in the vault. You'd have to go back and listen to it. No, um, no. Basically, Alex, what I just did there was read out a lovely long list of names of people from our group that have been really influential for us, but also on the group as well. Um, and, and and I know someone that you wanted to sort of just give a nod to yourself because you mentioned it to me before we started was Fred Carmichael and his agree or disagree posts, which we have already said about. But I know you really like those. I do. I do. Uh, They're fantastic. And some of them, you know, like, it's funny because like some of them are like, like almost MCU, like entire continuity changing. And some of them are like, you know, like, just like, hey, like, what's like just a simple detail change in a story or, or, you know, like, Mm. um, and and so that's why I really like this, those because like it, it, they're really like, they may not be like a, a gravity changing, you know, question, but like they're really interesting questions to always talk about. I really like something that Fred said a little while ago. I think somebody somebody argued with him about something about one of them, and he and he basically went, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> he went, "This isn't my opinion. I'm just mm-hmm. asking you whether you agree or disagree with a statement. That's all." <laughs> I really like the way he sort of dealt with it. It was like. Just, just stop, stop talking to me like that. that that's, that's not what this is about. Um, just very much like that's what it is. But you know, um, Alex, I was, I was saying that you know we've got people like you know Clayton and Rubin and uh, Roxy and Maeve and Bridget. There's some great people out there that are putting in some really superb content for us to to inspire us to talk about. Um, and and obviously, you know, again, we can't talk about the group 
really without talking about um the, the people that run it uh, th- uh there's us three yeah. uh, we're three of the people we we're not the only people we've um we've obviously got barbara who we've already mentioned so uh you, you know she's she's there and been there since day one um been helping us helps us with our quizzes yes which we haven't really mm-hmm. spoken about either that we do our live zoom quizzes which i think are a really great feature for for our page and for our uh, brand if you will uh we've got we've got uh jamie our um our fearless scott <laughs> who's uh who's, who's in charge of all of our sort of spoiler threads and uh all of those kind of things so he's um you know always putting uh putting good content out there we've got uh we've got dave who's talking about spoiler threads he's the artist yes he's the artist of of our little um contingent um and actually a fantastic artist if you can if you can get on the group and come and see some of dave's you know pencil drawings he'll draw with anything he was drawing with a kid's crayon the other day that was ridiculous (laughs) so fantastic artist and we've got the one and only rmc (laughs) <laughs> whose name's actually Ransom, but not to me. He's the RMC. <laughs> uh, and he's been doing... Actually, sorry, I forgot. You know, he's he's been doing his uh, Daily Dose posts recently, so giving us some information on a character. And and with along those lines as well, we can't forget Alex has been doing his Funko uh, and comic posts, so showing us where the Funko has, has been inspired from in the comics. And Barb's has been doing her MCU versus comics posts as well, showing us when a character first appeared in the comic and first appeared in the MCU. So I think when we look at the, the package that the MCU, uh, sorry, Marvel, d t Evolution, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that bit out. Edit that bit out. <laughs> Two mistakes, all right? Two mistakes. It's fine. I when didn't notice we, anything. Well, no, you didn't. Nobody else did either. I don't know what we're all laughing at. <laughs> yeah. When we look at the Marvel DNT Evolution package, you know, we've got podcasts, we've got quizzes, we've run some competitions as well. We've still got a competition running that I've let overrun a little bit. I want to see if we can get build up some more, some more people, some um, some talent competitions. We've had, uh, you, you know, like I said, we've had our quizzes. We've got all of those feature posts. And we've got some great discussions going on, some great members. So I think we've got a really good thing going here. And uh, I think as we go into 2022, uh, our numbers are going to grow to a, to, a, to a place where we've got really active community. You know, we're not bothered about having, having huge thousands and thousands of people, but obviously we want an active community. Um, and we, we, uh, we would like a few more members uh, to, to help us achieve that. And it gives us a nice broad spectrum of people to bring into the conversation so um just just before we get on to we're going to talk about one more thing this is not just patting each other on the back uh, but uh you know just to just to round off thank you to all of our listeners and all of our viewers as well for for sort of inspiring us to keep going you know again it's not about the numbers of people that we've got listening we we we, we like doing this and uh, we hope that you've liked listening to us too uh, you got anything else to say before we talk about our last little thing of the year, guys? Just want to say thank you to to all the listeners and viewers and everyone in the group and all the fellow mobmins as well. All of us, you know, it, it's like uh, teamwork makes the dream work. So let's let's keep doing it and having fun. Yeah, yeah. I I just want to say thank you to you both of you guys um, for you know letting me be a part of this. Thank you to all the the mobmins like like he said and uh yeah i mean it's it's been fun you know um getting to come here and talk about all the different various mcu stuff and and you know through this entire previous year you know we've been talking about like all the shows and all the movies and stuff and it's it's been very exciting it's been a fun ride so thank you superb. guys superb superb okay and we're not going to leave you with that we're going to leave you with some real mm-hmm. tangible information to take away. Uh, so the last thing we're going to talk about for 2021 is uh, that big trailer that was released last week, uh, the Multiverse of Madness trailer, Doctor Strange 2. Um, it's obviously out in May. 
We know at the moment it's the first confirmed thing for 2022. We're hopefully going to see something in between now and then. But if we don't, that's the next thing that we've got to look forward to within the MCU. So looking at that trailer, it was more, but from my perspective, it seemed like more of a collection of clips than a trailer. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was very, it wasn't very, there wasn't much of a, I mean, I know there's not much of a story to any first trailer but it it didn't seem very coherent it was just lots of images and lots of bits there was some um, some first appearances from certain people in there so america chavez yep. uh, uh, uh Gorov was in that was that mm, was no no it wasn't no. nope it's officially gargantos huh? but what's odd about that though is that gargantos normally isn't tied to doctor strange he's normally a sea creature and i think he was first introduced in namor and tied to Namor. So what I'm wondering here with this is that maybe they are doing some MCU trickery here and mixing Gargantos and Shuma or making Gargantos like a offspring of Shuma. Because at Wilds will what at what why else would he be in a Doctor Strange film like that? Because gotcha. he was he he would be like originally, I guess like Starro from like uh like D C, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably more similar to that. Okay. Uh, 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 two characters that I don't really know much about, uh, Schumer or, Gar- or Gargantua, um, uh, and America Chavez. America Chavez is a fairly new character, isn't she? Mm-hmm. She's newer. She's, you know, gone by Miss America. I think she even held the Captain America title recently in some of the comics, if I remember correctly. Um, but her main power is interdimensional hopping. So she can open portals up, and I think we saw a portal in, the, in that uh, preview. Mm-hmm. Uh, of her opening one up and it seems like she might be tied to Garganto slash Shuma at first and then come over to the, the strange side. Um, the poster too, as well, that I shared to the group, that was also interesting because it showed three stranges and two Wandas. Mm-hmm. So yeah. definitely some uh, multiverse stuff going on. Um, it does seem like some of the what if stuff is crossing over, yes, especially it does. with the, the whole Dr. Strange episode and, Captain Carter has been heavily rumored. Um, some rumors, too, are talking about Illuminati. Um, and the new Marvel intro was interesting in that. I'm not calling it a trailer. I'm calling it a preview. Yeah. Um, because it looks like it put together some X-Men stuff from, like, the X-Men films. The intro for that one. Uh, the Spider-Man ones, I think. Uh, possibly Fantastic Four. So it'd be interesting to see if we since the multiverse of madness, if we see some brief cameos by the old people. I know from um, films. I know Luke when he was on. I'm not going to say too much because, but uh, I knew Luke when he was on said, "Oh, maybe we'll see just all of these characters from the previous films just piling in. <laughs> maybe that's what we'll see. Maybe we'll see an avalanche of, you know, Patrick Stewart and James McAvoy and Emily. No, not Emily Blunt. Sorry." Um, What's her face? Uh, Invisible Woman, Jessica Alba. Oh, Jessica, Jessica Alba. Alba. <laughs> yeah. And uh, all these, all these different people. Chris Evans as human, mm-hmm. human torch. Just everybody, just pile them in. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, Joe, we've got, we had that little um, uh, Doctor Strange, you know, that dark version of Doctor Strange uh, come in right at the end there, which was looks very much like the What If Doctor Strange. Yep. So. As you oh, who's, the, who's the third one though? There's three on the poster. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, um, yeah, in that, in that dark, strange that that one that Mordo shows him in the trailer, you know, he's like, "You're the one that destroys this strange." That doesn't look like the the dark strange we saw in What If either. So it's, you know, I, maybe they just gave us that dark strange and What If to kind of introduce us to the idea of. Yeah. different versions of strange yeah. you know i don't know but also yeah. too remember mordo from the first doctor strange and, and the post credit scene there's too many damn sorcerers and it seemed like mordo was going down the dark path so is this mordo as well a multiversal mordo and not the one that we saw in the first doctor strange mm-hmm. interesting yeah potentially obviously he's got big long dreadlocks now it could yep. be i don't know mm-hmm. how long it takes to grow hair that long but uh but yeah you never know it might be someone might be someone different uh, obviously, we see Wanda again. Yep, he's she's been self-isolating by the looks of it. Up in <laughs> <laughs> up in um, up in the mountains somewhere, and he goes to he goes to see her. Uh, 
she's unsurprisingly and i mentioned this on the group the other day unsurprisingly she seems to have uh, she slowly lost her accent yep. she's she doesn't sound she sounds very much american now which which i understand it's going to happen um but uh, it'd be interesting to see how they fold her into the situation. What was your crazy theory that you was having earlier on, Alex? Oh, so <laughs> this one is kind of ridiculous. So I was watching this trailer and it's got that scene where she's like sitting in the candles and she's floating. So it's got these like two statues behind her. And it kind of reminds me of like an Egyptian temple almost. And... Uh, it's got this statue and I kept on looking at it and I was like, it reminded me of those, like, uh, you've probably seen them in like movies and stuff, but it's like those things that you see in, um, they're like the little jars and stuff with like the different like animal heads and stuff mm -hmm. from like, like Egyptian kind of like, uh, pyramids and stuff. Um, so I was like kind of looking at it and I was like thinking about that and I was like, I wonder which one that is. And so, I like thought that it might have been Thoth. So I looked Thoth up and found out that Thoth um, actually has a Khonshu tie, which mm -hmm. is a little Moon Knight, like a little indirect Moon Knight tie. But basically Khonshu replaced Thoth um, as the deity of the moon or whatever. And interestingly enough, not only was like he the god of wisdom, but there's also he was also considered the god of time, too which yeah. going with Kang and everything going forward, yeah. that's another little nice. interesting thing. So then like I went down that rabbit hole because like in the comics, like Kang and Khonshu actually don't like each other back in Egyptian times and stuff. So yeah. So like, I kind of like my brain instantly was like thinking like maybe the dark hold was like, maybe got like some ties to that. Maybe it was written by Thoth and not, you know, like Chathon, like it, it is in the comics, you know, like, I don't know. Well, obviously, and, you know, we have got that dark hold tie, haven't we? You know, the last time we saw Wanda, she was with reading it. Mm -hmm. So it's certainly there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I was just going to say that temple that she's in, you know, like she looks like she's powering up in that scene, too. And if you notice, like, it looks like the magic's like flowing through her. Her fingernails even look black. Like, and her eyes look really dark in that scene. So, like, I'm, like, wondering, like, if that's actually Wanda or if that's, like, Wanda possessed, maybe. Mm. You or, know, like, something else. Maybe she has a similar arc to WandaVision where she has the good and the bad arc. Maybe she starts off bad, turns good. Who, maybe there's multiple, like I said, the poster had two Wandas on it. So there could be multiple, multiple Wandas for the multiverse. Um, also, too, I wonder with the statues and, and with the, the ties there, I wonder if that's why we still don't have, because we know Moon Knight has wrapped filming. Mm -hmm. So Moon Knight pretty much almost is in post-production right now. So I wonder if there's some ties here to Moon Knight, and that's why we haven't heard a date yet, because maybe they want to make sure that Doctor Strange went through a lot of reshoots and got pushed back. So maybe they want to make sure that's going to be solid before they announce a date for Moon Knight. Mm. Maybe there's some ties there. Um obviously speculation nothing to do with the preview slash trailer do we think we're going to see tommy and billy in I, any aspect i, I wouldn't so. yeah go ahead Alex. oh i was just gonna say i think so like i kind of think that the way i'm hoping that the way this ends is like maybe at some point you'll see the kids like i know like there's like a like we we want to see them in the young avengers you know, I don't know. I can't say for sure. Obviously, that's going to happen because they would need to be aged up, you know, to be adults and everything like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I have a feeling like she'll probably want this guy to see like some version of them. Like if if she does kind of take like a, a kind of aggressive role in this film, like I feel like she's hunting for those kids. So yep. she's, you know, going to probably try and seek them out in some way, shape or form. So. I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of it we see them in the main MCU as teenagers. Yeah, that's that's the only way I can see moving forward. Especially if they're going the whole Young Avengers tie, is that they're teenagers by the end of that yeah. movie. I think I think they've got to be. Think I was talking about ages um, with of the Young Avengers uh, just earlier on today with my with my son, um, and we were saying obviously, I think Kate's already identified herself as twenty two. I'm sure I yep. heard her say she was twenty two in, in the Hawkeye series. Cassie Lang is looking like she's going to be sort of 17, Similar. 18. Maybe a little older because of the snap. Because remember, she was not snapped. That's true. Yeah, yeah. she wasn't snapped. Yeah, she was looking about that sort of yeah. age. 
um yeah so she could be around the 20 age so i think if we if we do see tommy and billy coming in i think you're right i think we could end up with sort of 16 17 year olds sort of you know those kind of um uh you know young men Mm -hmm. rather than sort of boys yeah, if we think about Young Avengers, they're probably going to be mid to late teens to early 20s for the Young yes. Avengers team. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, um, obviously, there's lots of speculation. And as we said, it's not really a trailer as such. It was more kind of, look, look at these look at these scenes and see what you can make up of these. So, um, it's, um, it's going to be interesting to see a second trailer with hopefully a little bit of an idea about where the story's going, but I don't know whether we're going to be in the same seat. Oh, well, I see you shaking your head there. And I, and I, what I was about to say is I don't know whether we're going to be in the same situation as we was in with no way home where that it was, it was like, they can't really show much in the trailer without giving the movie away, you know, and this could be the similar situation. We've already, well, we've already seen the main players. I think we've seen most of the main players in the movie. I just think that if they, they will show their trailer, but it'll probably be as more hodgepodge and more misdirection. Just because some of the crazy rumors I'm hearing, which I'm not going to get into, um, it's going to be wild. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Just from the crazy, I don't know what rumors are true and what's not true, but the, the rumor, if any of the rumors that I've heard about this movie, it's going to be wild. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope it is. I hope it is. We've got, uh, we've got, we're kind of forever, and we've got uh, love and thunder next year. So um, yeah, we could do with something, especially we're kind of forever. I think he's going to be. I say it's grounded. We're talking about you know <laughs> a, a hidden nation in Africa with yeah. the best technology in the world, which is not really very grounded. But I think it's going to be far more grounded than multiverse madness. Um, so I think we're going to need something a bit crazy. And speaking of Wakanda Forever, it is back on filling again. Oh, it is. Oh, awesome. Yes, they they are resuming. I, um, I don't think it's the right start right now. I think after the hallways, the holidays, they will be resumed filming. And I, it, so it does sound like the situation with um, Letitia Wright, aka Shuri, uh, with her being able to travel to film. I think they're getting that situation solved. I don't know how, but it sounds like she's coming back onto set to be to do filming. Interesting. Interesting. Right. Well, we was only going to do a short episode, and we're uh, we're we're cutting it at about forty minutes, which isn't particularly short, but it's short for us. So, um, do you want to uh, hear uh, one more quick thing to, to close it out, though? Oh, did you mention? So we talked. So I had a little thing about Wakanda Forever, Thor: Love and Thunder, a lot of death. Oh, so hearing a lot of death. Well, yeah, is the rumor. So it's Gore the uh, God picture. There's got to be death. Yeah. You know, I I still think. Do you think they're going to go down the route with of, of Jane with cancer and? You know, I don't. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about the Jane stuff. I just what I heard today. There's an article out there by one of the things that with a rumor that a lot of death, some some notable deaths, and some kind of just like oh okay, I see why death. So hmm. what if what if Gore's from the multiverse? You know, maybe he's from a a universe where he killed all his gods yeah. you know and now he's gonna do that to this one i don't know i'm just throwing stuff out there but mm, interesting right okay well wrapping up 2021 then we'll um we'll leave you guys there and uh we will see you in 2022 have a wonderful new year and uh yeah onwards and upwards merry christmas happy holidays happy new year yeah happy holidays take care All right. Nice. Well done. Good job, guys. Yeah, that was that was a lot longer than I thought we were gonna go on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>